Jensen, I need to speak with you. Meet me in your office right away. I loved you, Francis, but I have to debrief Sarah first. I suppose you could, or you could hear what I have to say and see if that doesn't change things. Pritchard out. Oh, we got a choice. We talk to Pritchard, or just go straight to Sarah. Smack dab in the middle of Detroit. Hmm. So that is a really tricky, um, it's a really tricky proposition. Gotta gotta really weigh those choices. I think I'm gonna sleep on it. You know, take some time, really think it through. <laughs> Consider my options. Save my game. Yeah. I wonder how long we can wait here before either of them gets upset. I wonder if that's a thing that will happen. It usually is. Like if you dick around enough, one of them will call you and say, "Hey, what are you doing?" I said, "I said I need you." How's it going, Malik? Standing here. It's very it's awkward. Oh, it's very. It's that very awkward. All right. Um. All right. Uh, we're we're here. You you, you can go now. <laughs> he looks very, very anxious. Yeah, like, <laughs> Uh, sir, I'm, I'm legally required to make sure that you disembark safely, and I cannot, like, go do anything else until you leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Uh, how, you know, how's, how's things going, Malik? Oh, you know, just, just hanging it out, you know, just, uh, just, you know, I'm hoping to get out of here at work soon so I can go <laughs> out for drinks. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, uh, but, uh, you see, I can't... I can't really uh, leave until uh, until you do. So. Oh yeah, no, I hate that. I hate that when you know you're just stuck at stuck at work. Yeah. Um. You know, if you, since you can empathize, you could maybe help me out here by like. Oh right, you know. right, right. Yeah, go, go. I, I got you. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah thanks. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. No problem. Uh, oh, by the way, where are you where are you going for going for drinks? Any place uh, I know? Just, yeah, it's just yeah. It's probably probably not nothing that you heard of. You know, it's, oh, kind of, it's kind of it's kind of chic, you know. Oh like, yeah, yeah. No, I don't. I don't go in for that like you know fancy kind of kind of bars, yeah, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Anyway. Uh. Yeah. See. Ya, have, have fun. Uh, hey. Thanks. Yeah. Oh. But, hey. I really should oh, uh, just you uh, know. Okay, uh, uh huh. Yeah. Really, uh, you know, you put your life on the line for me, and I you know I just I really appreciate that. You know. Oh well. Um. Thank. Thanks, just, Jensen. Yeah. Really... No. You know. I just. I just felt like I should, you know, say something. Just it's nice to be appreciated. Right? Yeah. I know what it's like to be taken, uh, to have people like you know kind of take you for granted. So yeah. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yep. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. God, they're fucking late. <laughs> A uh, short scene lit by no means in any way informed by real life experience. We need everyone. On <laughs> not only the pro odds who might want to get a tag. In reality, I I kind of I kind of like Malik Jensen stuff. Yeah, no, I I I like that they kind of seem to have a. Uh, whoops. It's a, it's a shame that she's not in a sequel, but I understand why. Um. Yeah. No. She. Yeah. Yeah. Since we're such good friends, I, she wouldn't mind if I poke around her. Oh boy, she's got real good security on hers. Yeah, <laughs> just like, fuck Jensen. <laughs> Bastard's gonna have to work for it if he wants to snoop in my stuff. You are a security, chief of security, so... Right, yeah, you'd think, uh... I should really call Pritchard and be like, Hey man, I stopped by your office, but you're not here. I thought you really needed to speak to me. <laughs> I do like both CRT set up. I think I mentioned that before. Yeah, it's a... It rings very true for the, uh, like, tech bro IT guys I've known. Does anyone here care if I hack these? Doesn't seem like it. Um, no, I know, because you work here. It's right. Fine. And I'm just testing security. You also can't do combat in this area, so, like, they couldn't attack you anyways. Right. Yeah. Access granted. Use the stop worm, gain the stop worm. It's like take a penny, leave a penny, but for, you know, breaking and entering. Which I guess could just be take a penny, leave a penny. Yes. 
that would be actually kind of funny. Like, some guy who's, like, you know, maybe he used to be a Master Thief, but, like, he got out of the game, but he still really likes the thrill of it. So he just breaks into people's stuff and replaces their existing stuff with, like... Like, with, like random bullshit. Or, like, just, like... Or I say somebody's got, like, an old, uh... You know, some sort of collectible that's kind of gotten scruffed up or whatever, and he just breaks in and swaps it out with a new one. <laughs> <laughs> or you could be a really, you could be a, um, a really um, benevolent thief and and break into places and then so, replace everything they have with full versions of it. So you break into them and be like, oh, I see your milk jug is half full. Here's a new jug of milk." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> your fridge has been restocked by the friendly bandit. <laughs> That'd be sweet. <laughs> so I got, I broke into this guy's office, got super drunk, and then tried to read his emails while literally not being able to see. <laughs> What's this credit card info? I'm gonna buy stuff with this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... Oh good, I can replenish that uh, energy bar that I accidentally ate. I, don't you just hate it when you're walking around and you accidentally eat an energy bar? Yeah, um... You just, like, open it up and shove it into your face accidentally? Oh yeah, it happens all the time. <laughs> I don't want to drop any of the stuff I'm holding. I can come back for it later. Oh, somebody's been taking some mental health days, I see. Well, it's good. Yeah. It's just, yeah, they're, they're, it seems like a decent, uh, seems like a decent, uh, you know, HR setup or whatever, where, like, she's mad that you were burning your vacation days on, like, mental health stuff. Like, hey, listen, we can, uh, we can get you comped for that. Like, it, this is a very understandable reason for you to need some time off, man. Yeah. That's good. Or, lady, I guess. Mika looks like it's probably a girl's name. Most likely. Diane oh, this Gonzalez one, and Duel. This one part of the wall is just real dirty. Yeah, well, you know. Just keep scrubbing here. Yeah, no, somebody, uh, somebody graffitied, somebody graffitied a 2 and a 7 on here. Like, that's just <laughs> so irresponsible. <laughs> We did numbers on all the different offices. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, somebody's somebody's idea of a joke, I guess. I don't get it, but you know. <laughs> I know you can find out some codes from your uh, computer that you yeah. have in your office. Oh shit. Oh, I got plenty of time. Access granted. Nice. The cybersecurity is all done by Pritchard, so that's kind of a nice little fuck you to have. Just clear I like how this doors. employee is just so engrossed in her work and her gigantic keyboard that she uh, didn't even notice me, like, Hacking into her office. Yeah. Oh, hi, Jensen. Or like, yeah, like I just barge into her locked office while she's working, and she just doesn't care. That's fine. What the fuck does Pikes have against us? Wow, David's an angry man. I this rings pretty true to the CEOs I've interacted with. She. Like, I used to, I haven't, I used I haven't to really be, interacted uh, with any myself. I mean, CEO isn't necessarily the right word for, like, a small business owner, but, you know, same mentality. Oh. Okay. Which is with more of a, more of an inferiority complex, maybe. I do um, like that in a lot of David's emails, he has typos. Mm-hmm. Nice little, like, you know, yeah, nod to... Personality as expressed through, oh, hey, Pritchard. Um, I'll be right there, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm I'm coming. Don't worry. I'm 
I'll be right, yeah, right there, yep. <laughs> Jensen! <laughs> Jensen. Pocket secretary. Jensen. <laughs> you know, Danny, for a lawyer, you're a pretty cool dude. Woof. <laughs> yeah, okay, this guy sucks. Oh, hey, Mika, that's the, uh... That's the lady whose, uh, stuff we just, uh... Snooped through. Oh, and here's the code that we hacked. Cool. Uh, quick skim some global politics review. Uh, keep, make note, there's another cyber abuse energy drink. I think Fnatic Pony is, um, yeah, that's, uh, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has a bunch of, uh, Typios here. Oh, man, that is, with that is, surgeries. this is, a, we, we saved his life, for God's sake, is some drunk typing, holy shit. I don't think he'll be suing us any TM soon. <laughs> of Tat. Yeah, we've read that heightened security messages memo so many times at this point. Everyone seems to have it on their email. What? It's like. All right. Well, yeah, it was an it was an all staff email. All right. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Take care. Uh, actually, one more thing. Uh, <laughs> Jetson. Tim Carella. Isn't that the guy we dealt with? with Is the, it? Yeah. Uh, with the, uh, we were getting, he was the guy selling, um, neuropathy, I think. Oh, that could've been. This is maybe not the most important use for a nuke, but whatever. That's a very dangerous thing to say. <laughs> it's not the most important use for a nuke, but, you know, it's, it's just, just throw nukes away, so. <laughs> API node activated. Access granted. Oh yeah, you gotta activate those API nodes. Mm -hmm. They just leave them unactivated. <laughs> oh, whiskey. You should not have that at work. <laughs> well, that's Good why I'm job. here to confiscate confiscate stuff. Sorry, I've already I've already confiscated a lot of whiskey today. Um, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm here. I'm here to remove the uh, the uh, contraband, you know. Yeah, remove it. Actually, and I put don't... it in your belt. Well, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm smuggling it out someplace safe. And again, Jensen has the entire whiskey bottle in like one use, so he just like. Well, yeah, with all those <laughs> odds, you know what his con stat must be? Like, gee. <laughs> Again, I'm just imagining him chugging a whiskey bottle like super fast. All right, I think. Whoops. I uh, okay. I think I got some credits there. Right? <laughs> oh shit! That's yeah. You're drunk. Go home, Joel. You're drunk. <laughs> I am home. <laughs> Loophole. <laughs> drunk as I wanna be. <laughs> as drunk as I am. Hearts of Steel. Oh yeah, it's got that saucy romance novel there. It's the same one we read. Oh no, this is uh... Oh shit! New stuff! New stuff! Iron Dude. Shadows. Across the plaza, Meredith saw him stumble and fall against a low wall. She cast a quick glance back to where the demonstrators continued to build toward an outbreak of fury. And then, on an impulse she couldn't explain, she went to him, offering a hand. He looked up from under his hood, and the eyes that glittered there, hard and gray like fragments of sea ice, made her gasp. <gasps> he stood, <laughs> ignoring her outstretched hand, but there was something in the depths, at odds with his scowl. Are you... Fine, he murmured. Uh, there are, those eyes Hello, narrowed. Who is it? You're hurt. Just a scratch. She began, Something's but his hand was already coming up to her cheek. Meredith started as silver fingers touched her skin. To her surprise, they were worn. Yeah, he said, turning away. I'm one of them. A cog. I... But he was already leaving. <laughs> oh shit, saucy. Man, I wonder how many piece snippets of that story there are. 
I love it. <laughs> I want to read this romance novel about romancing a robot They should boy. do what the Dragon Age folks are doing and make it a full novel. Are we doing that with, with what are we doing that with? That that romance the, novel the, from, the, from the third game? Yeah, the, the novel Varric was writing. Hard in Hightown or whatever. Oh, that one. Okay. They that are one, releasing I, I a full that. they are releasing a full novel of it. That's great. Man, Fast I clips. Last time I snuck in here, I um clearly missed some stuff. <laughs> yeah, let's see. W X L I P A. Yeah, Wilixapa. That's it. It's my rapper name. <laughs> um, I, I thought because we were talking about romance novels, I thought you meant like in the in the in Inquisition, Cassandra's reading um, uh, one of Eric's novels. That's about like it's like just like a smutty romance novel, like kind of like a Harlequin romance. Thing. Right. Yeah. And no, I'd be I thought pretty, you meant that, and I was like, yes! pretty down for that. Alright. Um, kind of bullshit that you can't romance Cassandra as a woman in that game, because she is super butch and... Yeah, no, she, I would have absolutely done it, but I also can respect them having characters that aren't player... Sexual, like, I guess I liked how in two everyone was just like you because it just it, it feels like it limits your options more than it, it, uh, more than anything. I mean, it does. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, at, at the so... same time, it, it's cool that like they have characters that are explicitly gay because like right. Sarah's like super gay. Like, yep. yeah, no, and see, I think that's I think that's I think ultimately that's good for making it feel a little more, um. Make it feel a little more multifaceted or a little more multidimensional. Uh huh. Um. But Cassandra's. She, look at her. I, I showed a picture of her to, to yeah, my. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous that like, that. Like, character... look, at, look, at, look at this woman and tell me she's straight. Right. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. I'll agree that it is ridiculous that that particular character is the one they chose to be. Um. At. I, I was gonna say like uh, I saw a, some tweets um, and one of them was like, someone at Bioware who's a guy really likes butch women but i mean come on because there's a ton of characters in bioware games that are like like jack from mass effect 2 it's like hey, come on how is she straight <laughs> right so do you want to talk to pritchard or do you want to talk to seraph i think we talked to pritchard and then maybe actually in the episode I am what do you want? a little bit as much as i hate to admit it yeah i mean I it's it's like summer time for me honestly signal you shut down yeah, yeah. drb territory you're two it's hours ahead, right? A year. Uh, You're telling three. me someone outside this company has had it's, access it's to a network right now? Yes, 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 yes. I've detected intrusions before and shut them down swiftly every time. But I'll be ordering dinner at D and D, whatever it is, an oh, order. Sure. Yeah, well, my D and D games are on Friday nights, so it's usually picking something up on the way there. Yeah, I could do that too. Um, I'm debating. Uh, let me give you your input here, Joel. Um, okay, yeah. I'm, over sure, I'm certainly not listening to Pritchard here, so I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, seriously, I'm not listening to okay. Pritchard here. I, I got a craving the other day for an extra cheese pizza, like a normal pizza, but just extra cheese on it because right. cheese is amazing. And but I also had a craving today for burger and fries. But pizza and burger, it's really hard. And now, what if what if shortly after your cheeseburger pizza? That's not gonna still in the same way because the main thing is the fries honestly i want some mm. fucking french fries <laughs> what wanna... about pizza and fries i don't think you can do that i mean i could buy pizza and also fries they, they could call it the learning to ski special you know what actually i could there's a pizza place on the way to my dm Emily, i could you get order it? you get it the what learning to, the learning to ski special oh for fuck's sakes that's a very oh. good joke I just made. I get it now. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I could just order a plate of fries and a pizza. I think that is your op best option. I think I might do that. Right, we discovered it, guys. <laughs> we, uh, we, we solved the problem. I solved my dinner puzzle. <laughs> All right, we're 69 meters away from uh, Zeref, so uh, I think we're just gonna nice. stop right here. What nice.
Um, also, wait, hold on. Actually, before I do that, I just realized we have a whole bunch of Praxis. Oh, we should worry about upgrades should first. Yeah, maybe okay. figure that out now, because otherwise we're going to have to spend a lot of time puzzling through Let's it, leave it when we get back. The, the, the upcoming uh, conversation with, with Seraph excuse me, with Seraph is a, is a conversation boss fight. Hmm, yes. So we could get the KC mod now. Could, but I kind of I kind of like rolling without it. Like I've never actually okay. used it before, and there's other stuff I'd rather invest my praxis in. Sure, sure. Like it's not like conversations are that unwinnable without it. You want to get you want to upgrade this stuff? I'm slide. I'm thinking I'm thinking it would be kind of nice um to be able to use it longer. Um yeah, I think we should do that, and then also upgrade our battery recharge speed. Yes. Um. We don't necessarily need extra That's cells. A, we don't need the recharge rate. Yeah. Right, yeah. Uh, and I might just double down on one of those, but I want to look at what else we can like, boost here. Um, I don't really think that we need this stuff. I think I we've got everything we need. Marking, yeah. I think we've got everything we need from the stealth enhancer. I really just wanted vision cones, I think. We could improve our hacking stealth. We could. Um, or, yeah, I don't. I think we need to improve the stealth before we do higher levels because it's very hard to well if, you, if you're at higher levels and you don't have a stealth to back it up it's very tough yeah. right yeah exactly um so that's an option stealth two um i don't think we really need to upgrade our carrying capacity more yet um much through walls is nice but not that important um i don't think there's cooldown timer and flash suppressant aren't that big a deal yeah, yeah i think I'm, i think hacking stealths are best yeah, sure. That sounds good. And, and and I think I mean we should also look in the forward in the future because we do die a lot. Is maybe getting some dermal plating. Well, see, the idea is if I invest more in stealth and stuff, I won't be shot as much. Well, that's an optimistic way of looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> that's the that's the the goal anyway. Um, <laughs> smart vision. Uh, see through walls is kind of cool, but I don't I just know like if it's ever worth having armor practice. underneath my skin. I guess. <laughs> well, that'd be subdermal armor. Yeah, it's subdermal. That's true. This is just this is just regular dermal, uh, supra dermal, if you will. Um, actually, getting it's it's expensive, but getting the EMP shielding is really nice. Um, oh yeah. It's just it costs four praxis to get there. Um. At some point, the leg prosthetics might be a good investment too. Um. Jumping more is good. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the jumping enhancement is great. Um, sprinting that isn't that big, but run silently is nice. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, if we had the praxis, getting all the way down this tree is nice because it's really good to be able to like stealth jump. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and save that. I'm not intentionally rotating my saves. It's just easier to hit create new save. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, um, I guess this is where we're going yeah, to wrap it for today. Um, this was probably months worth of episodes, but <laughs> um, I'm looking forward I'm looking forward to the reception to the month of boss run. Yeah, totally. <laughs> you say we might, so, we might speed up a little bit of that. Yeah, uh, I mean, thanks. You'll, you'll know. But... Yeah, thanks for sticking with us through all that. Um, hopefully we'll play more often in the future and I won't be this rusty. Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah, well, yeah. Well, well, like I said, we're going. We had we had to finish this before 2019. Right, right. So, so we're on a timer well, now. Because I really want to play Vampire Masquerade Bloodlines. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, and then like I've been really mean to play Dishonored 2 at some point, so that might be an option. Is that, is that, is that going to be our thing? Joel is running through like stealth games. These these types of RPGs. Yeah. Oh, I mean, not yeah. necessarily stealth, but yeah. It's a choice heavy. If, if you have back stealth in Bloodlines, you can literally just be like crouching in front of a guy in broad daylight and he won't be able to see you. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. I it's, I love it's that. Amazing. It's amazing. Cartoony as hell and it's fun. <laughs> well, you are a vampire. So right. I, I just had it as like vampire magic. <laughs> right, yeah, right. Anyhow, yeah, um, yeah. thanks, buddy. Yeah, bye. See you later.